Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to create this interface wherein we are displaying the product or the category details in the table component. Also, we are having the search field over here wherein the user can query based on the locator and get the products or the category like this. This we had built with the help of SDP. In this video, we are going to build similar interface but with the help of array data provider that is nothing but ADP. Let's begin. First, I will create one page over here. Create page, main, start, it is based on ADP. Now click on this main, go to settings and change our main start page or the default page from start to ADP. On when we, that is because when we click on this preview button, it will load our ADP page. Now before we begin, we have to create a type. First, let's create the type. Click on this type and click on this from endpoint. Expand business object, expand category, select this get category, click on next and check this create from endpoint root. Let me rename get all category. This is type. Let me rename to ADP type. Now you have to expand the items. From this, we have to select what and all we need. We need the category ID, we need description, we need the ID, we need locator and manager ID. That's it. Click on finish. As you could see, this is of type object and these are the fields available. Now we will we are going to create the ADP over here. Go to variables, click on plus, here let me name get all category ADP variable. This is of type array data provider or the ADP, click on create. On the right hand side, we have to select the type which we created, that is get all category ADP type which we created just now. Come over here and select the key attribute, I am selecting the ID. Yeah, that's it. Now, we will go to the designer. I am going to drop this table over here. Now we will make use of ADP and populate the data over here. Go to data. From here we have to select the ADP. Click on save. Now we will select what we want to display. We need the category ID, we need the description, we need the locator. Yeah, that's it. Now we will go and preview this page. Yeah, this has loaded the page but we are not seeing the data over here. In case of SDP, it was invoking the endpoint when the page loads. But here we have to create an event whenever the page loads, it has to fetch the details of category and populate this table. For that, we have to go to this event listener over here. Click on the plus event listener. Click on this VB enter that is dispatch after page scope variable has been initialized. Click on next. Create a chain over here. VB enter. ADP or populate. Give some name. Click on this finish. It has created a chain. Let me click on this go to chain. Okay, here we need to call our business object endpoint. Now go to select, expand business object category, get category. We have to select from here. Now in case of failure, it will notify the user with a bell notification. I will add similar thing in the case of success as well. I am adding, I am changing the type as confirmation, providing the name as success, same thing I will give in summary as well. Next thing is we need to assign the output from this rest call to the variable. For that I am dropping this assign variable, click on go to assign, expand our ADP where we need to assign the output from this body items to this data. We need to map array to array. Click on save. Once done, we are going to refresh the ADP variable. For that, I will drop fire data event over here. Click on this refresh. In target, I am selecting this ADP var. Click on save. Now, we will go and preview this page. This has loaded the page and as soon as it loads, we are getting the bell notification what we had built over here. First, it will make a call to our business object. We will get a bell notification. It will assign the data to our ADP variable and it will refresh what we have seen over here. Looks good. Now, we will add that search input field over here and the search button. For that, we will go back to our builder. Go to page designer. Now, I will drop this input text field over here. Let me rename the input text to search locator and I am going to create a variable of type string over here. 
search locator var click on create now let me assign the data whatever user enters to a variable which we created now click on save now we need a button over here for that i am selecting this and dropping over here let me close the pop up select this button as we did last time we are making this a solid then we are going to events click on this new event click on on action rename this to search locator button action chain fine now what we are going to do is we are going to call our endpoint if you drop this call rest select the endpoint select this get category and we need to map this q parameter over here here we need locator like percentage concatenate with search locator value what the user enters plus percentage okay looks good whatever the user enters in such location where we are querying with that at the time of calling the get endpoint click on save now in case of success i want to fire this bell notification over here let me change the notification to to con confirm let me give a success summary also success now next thing is we need to reset the adp variable which it already has the details for all the categories for that i am selecting this reset category and dropping it over here and i am selecting adp over here next we need to assign the output from the rest to our adp for that i am selecting assign variable dropping it over here go on this assign expand the var now map items to data click on save okay. now after assignment we need to refresh the data for that i am dropping fire data provider event okay now select this refresh go to event target and select adp variable click on save yeah done now we'll preview this page has loaded and it got all the details from our business object now we are seeing this search input button and search field now let me query for categories which are available in this locator click on this button in order to correct that error we have to come to the action chain that is search locator button action chain go to this call rest go to the mapping for the query parameter what we have done earlier there was a single quote i have replaced the single to double okay it was causing an issue while creating concatenation so once done click on save we'll preview this again yeah it has fetched the data on page load now i'm querying for categories available in a1 locator click on this button now it is able to get the details from our business object let me query for one more that is for r1 locator click on this button yeah done again we can customize the name for this button as well as we had discussed in our previous video go to the page designer click on this button and in text we can give search yeah done now if you refresh this page it will rename that button name like this we can make use of array data provider and make use of the data available in that array in the components available in this video we had considered the example of table you can leverage this to other components as well which supports adp please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video